I thought I'd just let you into a little secret before, as we started. Um, Margaret and I, when we have our breakfast, after we finish breakfast, we use the little booklet called Daily Light, which has verses on for every day of the year. And then we just have a very brief time of prayer before we separate and go for our quiet times. So we take it in turns. I read the, bio, the book, Margaret Prays, and then the day afterwards I'll pray and Margaret will pray. And uh, Margaret sometimes has had a, what I call a little gentle rap over the knuckles for me, uh, because after I've prayed, she says, you forgot to start with praise and thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah, that's right. Went straight on to my list of things we want God to do for us. Mm -hmm. So uh, I thought I'd put that right this morning and we'll start with praise and thanksgiving. And then later on, I'll give you uh, a range of things that we might like to pray about. So first of all, I'm going to read to you uh, just That's one good. of the Psalms or part of the Psalm of Psalm 145, which apparently was a, a Psalm of praise from David. And uh, this is what he says. We can take these words on for ourselves and start our time as praise and thanksgiving. I will exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation will commend your works to another. They will tell of your mighty acts. They will speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty. And I will meditate on your wonderful works. They will tell of the power of your awesome works, and I will proclaim your great deeds. They will celebrate your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. Mm. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. Mm. All you have made will praise you, O Lord, your saints will extol you. They will tell the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might so that all men may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures through all generations. Mm -hmm. That's a psalm of praise and I just wonder now whether perhaps a couple of you might like to uh, say a prayer of praise and thanksgiving to God on our behalf, and then we'll move to some of the requests for prayer that I'm suggesting. Mm. Over to you. Mm. Lord, we praise you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and Lord, we just thank you for your great love for us and for your abundant provision. Amen. Amen. Well, we thank you for that psalm and we thank you for David, Lord, and his, um, um, his heart full of you, um, his heart full of praise. And whilst he's had his ups and downs and certainly fell away at times and sinned, he knew in his heart uh, of your love for him and uh, he found forgiveness and he found your love. And Father, we thank you for the, the Psalms that live on today and just um, show how hearts can be full of praise. Oh, that we, Lord, would be the same. Um, sometimes... It's hard to uh, <coughs> come to you. We have so many things on our mind that we want to spill out all our requests. And yet, Lord, we, we need to take time to acknowledge your lordship, that you are the king of kings. And we approach you both as a friend, but also as our God. And so, Lord, we do thank you this morning for this beautiful day, for this world world you have created 
Uh, but most of all, Lord, we thank you for you being you. And we thank you for your love. Amen. Amen. Okay, so let's come to our Heavenly Father and bring before him some of the things that we feel we should be praying about. And uh, particularly at this special time with the interregnum coming up and with the virus. I've jotted down some things here. And uh, I'll just go through them quickly. And then perhaps as I mention them, one and another might say, yeah, that's something I'm going to pray about. Mm -hmm. So firstly, I think we need to pray very, very much for our diaconate. Mm -hmm. Without going into a lot of details, most of you will realise that the weeks, months, maybe even longer than months ahead, are not going to be easy for them. As they grapple with the virus, deciding what to do and what not to do as they begin to look for a future pastor, as they find preachers to occupy the pulpit, so many things. And then I think too, we might spend some moments praying for the house groups. Um, I imagine all of you are linked in to a house group in some way. And as you know, the deacons have put questions in front of us as to the future. Um, we had our meeting last Friday and tried to grapple with the questions. Uh, proved to be quite an interesting meeting. But let's pray for our house groups, particularly as they're perhaps struggling in this difficult time. So we will be doing Zoom, but a number of our folk found Zoom difficult. So we were in the garden last Friday, the church garden. But even there, the one or two difficulties cropped up, although we had a good time. So we pray for house groups. Mm. And then uh, I wonder if you might just remember cribs in your prayers. You may have mm. seen in the... Um, prayer bulletin, the prayer list, the three people that they're looking to employ uh, because uh, for various reasons, these three folk have had to leave. Um, first of all, a business and fundraising manager. That's the major task of looking after cribs from a business point of view. Uh, it's such a big job that they're looking for a second person to be a part-time manager. And then thirdly, they're looking for a fundraiser, a very vital job, uh, Karen, who's been doing it for a number of years, has moved off to another uh, job. And they're looking for someone who can come up with all sorts of different ways in which they can be fundraising. So Cribs, you might like to pray for, has agreed to be the new organiser for church leaders' monthly get-togethers. This is mm. something I've been doing for a number of years, and I felt it was right now to hand it over to somebody else taking that on. And uh, it's a task to do with churches together in Sitkath and particularly bringing together all our church leaders. Mm. And then I've got down here Alex and the family. I hope you won't be too embarrassed if you pray for him. <laughs> but I think all of you will realise that Alex and Anna are really having to take on board all sorts of different aspects as they continue to plan for SBC for these weeks, as they look ahead to their future um, <laughs> Uh, and so I think we just ought to be remembering them in prayer. I was thinking uh, amongst my, uh, for myself all the different roles that a pastor has to fulfil, um, pastoral roles, preaching roles, still looking after his family, when the virus is around, all the technical stuff that he has to do. So let's pray for Alex too. So that's a number of items. And uh, I think if we just go into prayer, Hopefully you can pick up one of them that has particularly struck you. Let's pray together. Simple answer that all of us can give to what George has just said, and that's amen. Mm -hmm. We agree with him and we just uh, uh, offer all to you, Lord, all these subjects that George has mentioned. Individuals like Alex and John Steed, uh, organisations like Cribs and and others that come to our own minds uh, that we perhaps as individuals are associated with, all going through the, the same sort of uh, problems with uh, the effects of COVID and the lockdown and how to restart, <coughs> reorganise, to regenerate interest and involvement in the activities. And so, Lord, in a simple way, I just say thank you for all that George has mentioned. and. <laughs> Pray that you will pour out your spirit upon us, that we might fulfil your purposes of going into the whole world 
on preaching the gospel. I know that world sometimes begins in our own doorstep, but sometimes it's far away. We do also think of our missionary organizations. Mm. Uh, I pray particularly for uh, the Mahons in Peru, Lord. Um, Peru seems to be one of the heights of the pandemic at the moment. And so we, we pray for that family, for their safety and for their protection at this time. Mm. We commit these things to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, man. <clears throat> I did forget to put India down too, which I'm sure is really should be high on our prayer list. Okay. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for George's uh, involvement and coordination of, uh, of our church leaders group in SIGCUP. We thank you for uh, the way that his mind works, the way that he um, keeps on top of things and keeps organized. We thank you, Father, for his, his passion in bringing churches together and supporting church leaders as well. And Father, as takes over from George's role um, for coordinating and to some extent leading uh, our meetings, we do thank you for his willingness to take up this new role. We thank you for the years in which he has been so involved in supporting churches, bringing them together, um, bringing a fruitfulness from it all. And I pray, Father, that in this new position that he takes on, Lord, that he would uh, again see a fruitfulness <clears throat> from it. Pray, Father, that he would settle in well. Lord, that where he meets perhaps people for the first time, that friendships uh, would quickly grow and there would be that mutual um, trust and, and respect. Please would you bless him. Please would you also bless um, the church leaders as well through this time of change over the coming months as a few of the ministers leave, as um, some of uh, the, the new curates in the area join. I pray, Father, that you would please bring the, the church leaders of SIGCUP into a new, fresh season of opportunity and of passion, of, of working together, of supporting one another, of creating deep and genuine friendships amongst them, and also uh, an ability and a desire to see churches working <coughs> together more um, in their mission. Mm. And Lord, with that in mind, we also do lift up Lark in the Park to you. Mm. And Father, there is still, as far as I know, um, some ambiguity over what they will be able to do this summer. We pray, Father, that in the coming days and weeks that it would become ever more clear to um, Lark in the Park's leadership team of what <laughs> they will be planning for. Mm. Please would they have all the information that they need in, in, in terms of um, restrictions and freedoms. Please would they know what they have in terms of resources, in terms of volunteers, in terms of finances. And please would you make it very clear to them as to um, how they should set themselves up for this summer. Mm. And Father, I pray that uh, although there has been um, so much uh, distraction, so much limitation mm -hmm. um, in, uh, in, in, in ministry across the UK and, of course, in SICUP as well. I pray, Father, that as <clears throat> the restrictions continue to lift, as the weather improves, as confidence and mood gets better mm -hmm. in this town, I pray, Father, that however Lark in the Park discern how to operate, Lord, that it would be such a fruitful year. So many stories of people coming to Christ. So many people going on an alpha course or Christianity explored. So many people getting in, you know, following that up with, with connecting with, with local churches. <clears throat> We'd love to hear of stories of people getting baptized and whole families coming to faith in you. Mm. So please, Lord, would you work deeply and broadly in Lark in the Park at this moment mm. and over the 
and days, but especially um, over the summer as well. Yeah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Father God, we thank you for the churches together prayer meeting, which has met religiously over the last 12 months every week on Saturday morning. We thank you that we've been able to keep in contact with each other uh, through the phone contact and phone prayer lines as well. Father, that has been so important to continue to bring churches together across this area as we have challenging times which lay ahead. And we do thank you for John, who's actually been coordinating that uh, over the last nine months, particularly. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we do pray for Cribs. We thank you that uh, the schools are beginning to open up with uh, continuing opportunities for Cribs to go in and share the good news about Jesus. But we pray particularly for those who work behind the scenes in the office mm. with the huge amount of responsibility that they call. We thank you for the years and been able to do the job of being the business manager. And as he retires now, we just pray that... Uh, Somebody somewhere may be chosen by you to do this all-important job of holding the whole mission, the whole cribs together, um, mm. keeping in touch with all the supporters. And we just pray that that might happen and that where there is a need, there might be a part-time business manager as well. And Father, we thank you for all the work that did over the years in fundraising. And we just pray that you will bring somebody in uh, that part-time job, but somebody who will really have a, a good knowledge as to how to raise funds uh, from all sorts of different situations. So please, breast cribs, we pray. Amen. Oh, Amen. 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 Lord, this is indeed a time of change. We have local elections coming up. We have uh, ministers to find there are many many things going on Lord and I just pray that you will send your Holy Spirit that you will be with us that the right choices will be made and that they will be your choices so that your will will be done Lord will you lead and guide all those that are involved in voting in working towards seeking whatever aspect it is Lord Will you be there? Will you lead and guide us? Thank you, Lord. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Lord, we pray for Alex and Hannah and Penelope and the, and the new baby as they move away, dear Lord. We pray that you'll lead them in their future as well as they leave us and uh, take up residence a good few miles away. We pray that you'll help uh, Alex after his um, rest to uh, find the niche that is best for him and in line with your will. And we pray too for Hannah when the baby's born, that you'll lead her about her career and uh, how she should be spending her time. Lord, we just pray for them, that you'll watch over them during this transition uh, of the move and leaving one place and going to another. And that, uh, Lord, you will indeed help our uh, diaconate and, uh, to discern your will for who should replace Alex and uh, become our next pastor. Help them particularly in their meeting tonight, we pray and all the issues they'll be dealing with, just uh, give them your wisdom, we pray, to find good solutions to the topics that they're discussing. Yeah. And we pray this for your own glory's sake, Lord. Amen. 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 Father God, I thank you for our discussion in House Group last night, which was brought forward um, from Wednesday uh, for various reasons. Father, for the opportunity to be able to share thoughts, feelings, uh, which we discussed, uh, a wide range of the thinking 
wide range of ideas for the future for the church. And Father, as we enter this period of interregnum, you know how important it is to just reach out and acknowledge we want the right person to take on that role uh, for the whole of the church as the church moves out of lockdown uh, into a future, a new dawn, a new day. And Father God, you know how important that is for so many churches who are maybe going through something similar as well at the moment. And we just pray into these situations. Thank you for that opportunity last night of uh, sharing together those uh, ideas and thinking which came from that. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Heavenly Father, we pray for India. We confess that we hardly know what to pray for, but we're so distressed to see and to hear of all the dreadful things that are happening as a result of this virus. We pray for those who might be known to us in India, folk in our fellowship who perhaps know people and certainly our son has a number of people that he knows out there. And Heavenly Father, we just pray that somehow there may be a breakthrough. We pray that there may be other countries like ourselves who will provide some of the material that they need. We pray that the government of India, whatever that might be, might uh, be able to work hard in coming up with right solutions. But Heavenly Father, we just have to pray that you will have your hand upon this country and that somehow they may be able to begin to move out of the troubles that they're in at the present moment. We bring this matter before you and ask that you will step in and help. Amen. 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 I don't know whether any of you would like to pray for any of the individuals in our church family who are so urgently in need of prayer, uh, maybe through illnesses, maybe through operations, maybe through their partners or seriously ill. I think, unfortunately, we don't, we're don't not able to mention names, but uh, God knows them better than we do. And it would be good if perhaps we could just lift some of them up to you in prayer. Mm. So we've got to pray for our sister who's trying desperately to lose weight at the moment, ready for um, her surgery. Lord, she's finding it so difficult. So, Lord, I lift her to you and pray that, mm -hmm. Lord, you will work in her body, that, Lord, it will be ready for surgery um, when the time comes. And we pray for the success of that surgery, Lord, that her incessant pain shall be relieved. In Jesus' name, Lord. Amen. Oh, and for one of our house group, Lord, who was in tears again last week, just because her husband, who's in the care home, is really quite seriously ill again. Mm. And we just don't know what his future is. But she herself is far from being well. And we just bring this couple before you. They really have had such a difficult time over these months. Mm. And we pray that somehow your Holy Spirit might come and encourage her particularly. We yes. ask it in your name. Amen. 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 Yes, well, we pray for the number of elder folk who live in care homes and mm -hmm. just ask, Lord, that you will uh, have your hand upon them and provide for them. Uh, they miss their families and uh, don't get to see them very often or they see them through a glass, pane of glass and find it difficult Pray, Lord, that these homes will soon open up and we'll be able to see people face to face. We do think of those who, in the same sort of stage of life, find themselves locked in their own homes and able to get out. The only people they see is the occasional delivery person or family member who drops in. Uh, but, Lord, we just uh, remember them all before you. Commit them into your care and keeping. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Father, we do lift up to you one of our sisters who has been going in and out of hospital so often over the last couple of years with pancreatitis and with uh, other problems associated with it. Uh, thank you, Father, that for this time um, she is at home. And I pray, Father, that as she has uh, a new care package, um, Lord, that she would be well looked after and would build in confidence and in strength. Mm. Please, Father, would the, the consultants um, that meet with her, please, Lord, would you give them an insight into knowing what is, what is really troubling, what is really at the root of her problems. And mm. Father, would there be a solution and would there be progress in her physical yes. and in her mental health Yes. Um, over these coming months. Mm. Amen. 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 An elderly, active gentleman in our church who's uh, suffered a, an injury to his, his foot and his, his ankle and he's walking with crutches. Lord, to bring healing rapidly to him, we pray in Jesus' name. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And we pray for his wife, Lord. Um, arthritis is really getting her quite badly. Uh, there's not many minutes that go past in the day before she doesn't uh, yelp with pain. And uh, obviously she's having to change her lifestyle to a certain extent. And we just pray that you will help her to cope and that uh, you'll help us to be able to sort out our program as a couple. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.